Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and today I'm going to show you something that I've been looking forward to for a long time. Watch this short clip to show you why I'm so excited. So here I am, I'm doing a little bit of work, and I'm actually sitting in my car. I've looked uh, all over the internet for uh, probably a couple years now trying to find something that does what this does. Uh, probably the trickiest part, and you guys read the title so you understand what's coming, probably the trickiest part is that how do you know if something is actually going to charge your computer? And thankfully I was able to get a hold of this and test this out for you. So you can see uh, this, here is the Jago Tech Tanker Elite. And the Tanker Elite can charge uh, your phone, of course, and it can charge the Surface Go and the Surface Book 2, which has USB-C. And then uh, it also has uh, an additional ability, thankfully, to some innovation that they've done there. And this Surface connector here has a very interesting other side to it. It is a USB-C to surface connector adapter, which is awesome. It's something I've wanted for a long time. And I have a uh, gear mode charger in my car, which allows you to do um, 60 watts with power delivery. The Surface Pro 6, you now can use connected to a power bank, and this will uh, more than double the life of the battery. So you'll be able to charge it from completely dead all the way up to um, full and then a little bit more. So this, this is awesome for a lot of different reasons. Um, there is also the tanker. The tanker is a 45 watt charger. The Surface Pro 6 is a 44 watt um, machine. It means uh, that's, that's what it runs optimally at. So you can use this cable, the tanker, or the tanker elite. Uh, and this is not gonna charge, this is not gonna charge the Surface Pro 6 faster than uh, what it does with the charger. Uh, however, if you're charging the Surface Book 2, then you're gonna want to use uh, the USB-C cable that they send with the tanker elite. This one, plug it in USB-C into USB-C, and this is gonna charge faster than the um, surface connector cable. One of the things I really like about both portable batteries is that uh, you can charge not just the surface line, but really any laptop that has USB-C charging enabled in it, you're gonna be able to use this with. And all of those you can charge with this battery. Uh, which to me is, is kind of a game changer. It allows you to do all sorts of different things and you guys know. Uh, I love the idea of being able to go out into the wild and sit in the woods and, and paint. And uh, you know, if I'm gonna be answering emails, answering emails by the beach or wherever it is and, and not having to worry about whether or not I run out of battery or even if I, I have my battery charged before I go is something that I find very appealing. It's kind of like the uh, that whole concept when you're driving and your gas tank runs almost empty. I always uh, I always think that my battery on my phone is almost dead too. It's just that feeling that you have of having money in the bank or an extra battery around that kind of restores that sense of peace. Okay, it doesn't matter if things go a little awry, I'm still gonna be able to work and accomplish the stuff that I'm trying to do today. So I did a bunch of charging tests to kind of give an idea of how long it takes for the different devices to charge. And I tested with the Surface Pro 6, and I tested with the uh, Surface Book 2. I didn't test with the Surface Go because it's, it's going to be fast. <laughs> so I pretty much it's going to be at least as fast as uh, using the the stock charger. So charging with the two different chargers, if you're using the Surface Book 2, you're gonna want the Tanker Elite, and you wanna charge USB-C 
to USB-C. It's going to be the fastest charging process. And it was about um, 4 to 5 percent in about 10 minutes. So uh, in an hour, you can expect to bring your Surface Book 2 back up to, and I'm using the i7 15-inch model, which is power hungry, uh, about 30 percent in about an hour which while you're using is, is fantastic, especially when you're out and about. Uh, if you're gaming, uh, throw all of that away. <laughs> even the Surface connector, even the Surface charger that comes with it, you're still getting battery drained. I think we've read some of those different reports. Uh, if you're using the Surface Pro 6, you can use the tanker and go from USB-C to the Surface Connect port and that's going to keep your device, again, charged and topped out while you're using this. If you're looking at picking one up, I think that the Tanker Lee is 119. And then the Tanker, which is actually the larger capacity battery, it's $79 on sale right now. And the Surface Connector Adapter is $24.95. I'll put links, again, in the description, the actual pricing. But those are... Uh, for a battery that does power delivery, you can charge your Nintendo Switch. I ran the Nintendo Switch um, on battery power to the TV. My TV is not on the ceiling. It looks like I'm pointing at the ceiling. It's over, over there. So you can run, you can run the Nintendo Switch, and it'll it'll think that it's plugged into the wall. Uh, and you can use the Nintendo Switch charger to fast charge these. Uh, if you guys get a uh, either a, a portable USB-C wall charger, you get that, you can charge this whole battery with the fast charging USB-C uh, in an hour. So that's super, super fast. If you're trying to fast charge, probably the easiest thing to do is go to Best Buy and pick up a Nintendo Switch charger, or an aftermarket Nintendo Switch charger for 15 bucks or 20 bucks and then charge this up really quickly. One of the things that you want to keep in mind is that charging cables are not all the same. Uh, even USB-C to USB-C, there's a lot of differences. It's kind of like plumbing in your house. You're gonna have a lot of different fittings, a lot of different sizes. They're gonna carry a certain amount of water and other ones will compress that amount of water or in this case, electricity. So it can't do all the same thing. So the cable from Jago Tech is the one that I'd recommend. Uh, you can go on their website and see the actual rating for the charger, but it supports 5 volt by 3 amp, 9 volt by 3 amp, 15 volt by 3 amp, and 20 volt by 2.25 amps. And so that's it's a really versatile charger or charging cable, and it's going to support that higher current, that 45 watt power delivery and higher. Uh, where some of the other ones by Apple and Anchor and a few of the other uh, big name brands for chargers and charging cables doesn't always do that by default. So, and this one's only seven dollars more when you buy the tanker uh, or the tanker elite. You can get it for uh, it's just seven bucks more for this cable, and it's nice woven uh, material here. All right, you guys, uh, thank you for watching. I know this is going to be exciting for a lot of different people. The company that makes this product, Jago Tech, is based in Jersey and a uh, family-owned business for a long time. I, I would say definitely worth supporting and a quality product. I've had mine and been testing it rigorously for over a week and I'm very happy with the quality. All right, thank you guys. Until next time, stay creative and please subscribe to our channel for more information and news like this.